Mm. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the our primary care dermatology course. I welcome all of you to this uh, interesting course. So today we are start off with the first uh, week uh, topic, which is uh, skin physiology and anatomy. So as an introduction, uh, as you are all aware, skin is the largest organ in the body. It has a host of important function and interacts with the outside world. There are many functions uh, that the skin has to do. First, act as a protective barrier from trauma, ultraviolet light, toxin, and also infection. It's our main perceptor of sensation. It usually helps us to manage heat and fluid absorption as well as losses. And um, as you are all aware, many severe skin disease, um, systemic disease also may manifest primarily through the skin. Example will be the internal malignancy, systemic lupus erythematous, and also scleroderma. Uh, going back to the anatomy, which is a very important component of skin, uh, this whole uh, module, we, as we are aware, the skin actually consists of three layers, which is the epidermis, dermis, and the subcutaneous layer. So epidermis, as all are aware, are the outermost layer. It consists of many cells, uh, has no vascular or nerve supply. Uh, four layers, from the innermost to the outermost. And it takes 14 days for any skin damage to regenerate. So how do we doctors actually can correlate it clinically? So what we know about this condition albinism is that the absence of melanocyte in the mucous membrane and skin leads to this condition because of the absence of melanocyte in the epidermis. So let's go to the middle layer, which is the dermis. Is the layer beneath the epidermis. In contrast to the dermis, um, in contrast to the epidermis, it has a rich vascular and nerve supply. The primary cells are the fibroblasts and it contains two types of sweat glands, which is the exocrine and the apocrine. So looking back clinically, uh, we will notice that second degree burns, which are also known as partial thickness burns, are very painful. And it involves the epidermis and part of the dermis that is rich with nerve supply. So how about the deepest layer, uh, which is a subcutaneous layer? Um, a lot to be said, uh, but in summary, the main thing that we should know, it contains fat and the connective tissue. Clinically, the subcutaneous layer is the most uh, important site for delivery of many drugs for the skin, uh, including the heparin and uh, insulin. So we have come almost to the end of this uh, week's lecture. So as a... As a summary, uh, skin is the largest organ in the body, consists of a total of three layers, is absolutely crucial for survival and the site of many diseases. Uh, thank you and don't forget to complete our interesting uh, learning activities which includes the quiz and also the exercises. And for those that uh, have not done the pre-course uh, survey, uh, now is a good time to actually do it. Uh, with that, I thank you all.